Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I will be creating a beautiful window floral card using supplies and papers from the Your Paper Insider box number 8 which I showed in my previous video. Check the link down in the description box below where I have unboxed and showed all the amazing papers that are included in the subscription box. Moving on to our card project today. I will be using these papers from box number 8 of your paper insider and have a lot of die cutting to be done here. Well, uh, there are two products that I am using here. I have the Vista View Window Die by Spellbinders and the Pond Flower Die Set by Altenew. Now the Vista View Window is an absolutely gorgeous die set which uh, you can create window scenes for your card projects. You could have stenciled backgrounds, pattern paper backgrounds. There are so many more things that you can do. You have a little floral basket here where you can arrange your floral pieces or even flower pots that you would see on outside of the windows. Next I have the Pond Flower Die Set by Altenew. Now this has a bunch of different floral images, leaves and the pond. Now this is the die set that I used for my previous Your Paper Insider video where I created again a window scene uh, with a floral arrangements and the hugs die. Now uh, here are some of the leftovers of all of those floral die cuts. Again the pinks, blues, greens and all of the papers that I've used here are from one of the previous subscription box. Uh, and these papers are absolutely stunning. I add a light bit of shading on these images and uh, you can see the card project that I did uh, using these papers and die cut pieces. I will leave a link to that project down in the description box below. Now to save us some time, I went ahead and cut the window and the floral arrangement, the place where I would uh, uh, keep all of the floral arrangement using the Gumon Brasilia wood grain uh, grey colour cardstock. Now this was one of the specialty papers that was included in the pack. I love the texture on this cardstock. It has a very wood grain frame uh, like texture which would be perfect for this window frame. Now I wanted to add some contrast on this uh, grill like frame. So I'm using the Simon Says Stamp Positively Saturated Ink in the shade Woodsy which will add a little bit of contrast and will help pop out this frame image from the rest of the window frame. I really love the contrast with the grey wood grain uh, framework and the brown that we added to this little frame. I like to use the fine tip barely art glue to apply glue onto these intricate die cut pieces. Now the scene that I wanted to create here was as if you're looking into the house, inside the house where you have the blue color background and this pale teal color with a, a sort of handmade paper like a curtain hanging on top of the window. So uh, another way you could use this window is as if you're viewing outside the window where you can create a beautiful scene for your window. Now I stuck this panel and cut around the edges and then stuck the entire frame over that blue color, the teal color paper. All I did here is stuck this panel onto that blue color cardstock and cut around the edges. Now I like to hold my scissors at an angle just so that I can cut from the inside of this card panel and not cut just outside the frame. So that gives a lot cleaner look. Now next what we do is we arrange all of the floral elements. Now for all of the leaves that, that I've adhered here, I used the liquid glue to directly stick them onto the window frame. I popped up that little frame there using some tiny little foam squares. Now these foam squares are really thin and do not add a lot of dimension, but small little dimension just enough to tuck our flowers inside. Usually when I have such tiny little die cut pieces, I like to double them up just so that the pieces are sturdy enough. 
you'll see the leaves here are hanging out of the frame but still I have not used any doubled up die cut pieces and that shows how beautiful and amazing the quality of these papers are. Now let's work on the background of our card. This is like looking at the house where the window is. I used this solid teal color cardstock for my background panel. I cut this panel to measure 4 by 5 1 quarter which is slightly smaller than an A2 size card base. Now I wanted to add a slight texture on this background panel. Uh, so what I did here, you could either emboss it using some straight line embossing folders which you have. Another way to do this is by creating score lines. I created score lines at every half inch to create that textured look which we see around most of the houses in my area. Carefully scoring at half an inch, here you get the embossed side of the panel and the one which is raised at the back. You can choose to use either of these sides as your card front. But as I was placing this framed window, I thought that the raised side of this card would be perfect to create my card front. That will add a lot of beautiful dimension to my card front. Now, instead of these long stripes, you could also use your brick pattern embossing folder or any other design or even just keep it simple and not add any texture to this background. I went ahead and mounted this panel onto a side folding A2 size cardstock using some foam tape and using the liquid glue, I adhered my focal point onto the center of the card. I also made sure that I have some glue on those leaves that are hanging outside of the frame. Next, I added a sentiment strip which says wishing you an abundance of beautiful moments. This is from the Sunflower Garden stamp set by Simon Says Stamp. I love how quick and easy this card was to create. All that texture, beautiful floral images. I love how this card turned out. It would be perfect birthday card, anniversary card or just a card to say I am thinking of you. This subscription box by Your Paper Insider would be a perfect gift for any of your crafty friends. Thank you again for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed today's video and got inspired. All the supplies that I have used in today's video will be linked down in the description box. Thank you again for being here with me. Until next time, stay safe.